The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by Hello and welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Bridget Curran. Today we're taking you with us to Sequest, a petting zoo aquarium feeding experience. It's a place where you can see thousands of animals from five different continents without ever getting on a plane, and it's only a day's drive away. Sequest is located in Lynchburg, so if you're coming from Roanoke, it's about an hour long trip. It's tucked inside the River Ridge Mall, so if you want to split up your day with a break for lunch and a little shopping, that's totally doable. Not to mention, this whole excursion is family friendly. And you don't have to break the bank. If you get your tickets online, you can save a few bucks. Adults ages 12 and up are $14.88. Seniors and members of the military are $11.88. And children ages 2 through 12 are $8.88. There's also a VIP interaction bundle and includes three enhanced animal interactions. And you better believe that's what we're doing today. Hey Bridget, welcome to Sequest Lynchburg. I'm Shannon Geralds, I'm the general manager here and we're so excited to have you guys and show you what Sequest has to offer. We are so excited to be here. I've already seen an amazing gift shop, but how big is this place? Sequest Lynchburg is 22,000 square feet. We opened in October of 2019 and our purpose is to connect members of the community with animals from all over the world. These are animals they may not get to see if they can't travel, and this gives them an opportunity to come in and connect with an animal they may never see otherwise. Why don't you give us a tease on what's coming up on our show? Absolutely. So you're going to get to meet a sloth one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. You're going to get to interact with a prehensile tail porcupine and Bridget we're gonna throw you in the water. Oh gosh. Yes, stingrays <laughs> and sharks are gonna be all around you. Promise it's perfectly safe, but you're gonna get a little bit wet. And after that, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about animal training and how we care for the animals here and why it's so important that we do training with them, as well as you're gonna to get to meet the newest member of the Sequest family, Baby Chandler, who is a Patagonian cavy. Okay, well let's get started. The first animal we're going to interact with is a two-toed sloth. Two-toed sloths are solitary animals that spend most of their lives high up in the trees. They only venture to the ground to change trees, locate new food sources, or about once a week, they take a bathroom break. They may be nearly immobile on the ground, but they are very competent swimmers. They're excellent swimmers, even though it's kind of weird that they move really slow on land, but they're excellent swimmers. They're actually very fast in water, and that's how they can travel. We will tell them that they're super slow, that they grow algae on their fur, so that's why their fur hangs down very low, and the moths will go in and actually kind of help with the whole algae process. This sloth sleeps about 18 hours a day, so staff have to schedule guest interactions accordingly. Morgan and Amelia are its lucky visitors today. During their time, they can feed him, touch him, and learn some fun facts about him. Let's see what you guys were able to learn. I'm gonna put you to the test, okay? I'm gonna ask a few questions. I'm gonna put this mic on the ground. After I ask the question, the first person to pick up the mic gets the first chance to answer. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, good, all right. Question number one. How many different types of sloths are there? Six. That's right, yay, nice job. <laughs> How many different toes do sloths have on their back feet? Three. Good job. And last question. What percentage of their life is spent upside down? 60%. The answer is 90%. After cozying up next to a soft and furry animal, you can also interact with one with quills. And same thing with the porcupines, we do the same thing, um, except for touching them, because you don't want to touch those quills but feeding them is a great opportunity to realize what they would be eating and what kinds of sorts of things they like. I really enjoyed feeding them because they're super cute and super sweet and gentle. Along with feeding these porcupines, Marina and her brother Brandon are also thrilled by their quills. These are the prehand cell tail porcupine quills and this end is the one that sticks into the porcupine and this is what comes off of them. So these white tips right here are extremely sharp these are the ones that would be stuck into you, and then the whole quills will come off. One thing they learned, 
you don't have to worry about being struck by a flying quill because that's actually a myth. If any of them get spooked or a predator comes by, they'll raise their quills up and they don't shoot their quills like people think that they do. They just kind of shed them like dogs. So if a dog was to shake and you see some of the hair fall off, it's the same thing with porcupines. If you're interested in doing one of these interactions for yourself, the price is $19.95 per person for the sloth and $14.95 for the porcupine. You get about five to seven minutes of time with each animal. It's easy to see how kids of all ages love interacting with these animals, which makes it the perfect place for birthday parties. If you have a party here, the party room is all yours for close to two hours, as well as a private encounter with an animal of your choice. The kids also get goodie bags and souvenirs.